and succulent and uh, gardening growers it's Lynn and in today's video I've got a mega exciting video because I and me and Hans are going to be repotting my four monkey puzzle trees that I have grown from seed back in September of 2014 and these were grown from seed that I found in an absolutely beautiful gardens called Ultimate Gardens here in Ireland in County Carlo. I was very lucky to find some seeds and I sowed them and actually made a video at the time on how to grow the monkey puzzle tree from seed. So if you haven't seen that video, do go and watch it and you see how far these have grown since then. I'll link that video up above and also down below in the video description. And the last time guys, I repotted these. I I'm ashamed to say it was nearly four years ago. I think it was in June, June of 2018. We hadn't long moved into this house and they have grown a hell of a lot since then and they are desperate for a repot. And I know many of you viewers keep saying to me, Lynn, when are you going to do an update and repot your monkey puzzle? I said, oh, next week, next week. Now's the time that we're getting done. And I'm gonna have Hans help me in this video to repot because they're at that stage where they need to be put into very big pots because they're, they're big growing trees and they've been restricted in these pots. And we've also got these bamboo canes that we're going to be putting into the pots to support them because monkey puzzle trees, when they're sort of youngish, they do need a bit of support. And we're going to be showing you that in the video as well. And I'll talk a little bit about the soil mix that I've used for these. And uh, monkey puzzle trees, they, they can put, take pretty much any type of soil as long as it's well draining. Um, even clay soil, as long as it's got a bit of extra perlite or grit in it. And we've made up a big bucket here of um, a lot of loam soil. In this case, we're using John Innis number no. two. We put a bit of peat in as well, just for a bit of aeration, and some grit and some perlite as well to make sure it's well draining. And that's the most important thing. So well draining soil, but obviously it doesn't have to be cactus soil or anything like that because they do like to be kept moist. So that's the soil mix. And uh, now we're going to show you the step by step of repotting these gorgeous little monkeys into their new pots. Now these are the pots that we've chosen, much bigger than the other pots. And normally when I'm repotting plants, I usually go just one size up. But because the monkey puzzles are quite fast growing and they are desperate to be repotted, and it's spring now, it's April, we've gone for a, gen a generous, oh, excuse me, a generous size pot. Holes in the bottom, as you can see. And you show the difference in the size of the pot. So they are going to love this. Now here is Hansi. My wonderful partner and he's going to help um, do these repotting so I've got my hands free to film and uh, as I say soil mix pots already and uh, these are the monkeys. What we'll probably do is show you the one repotted and then we're going to show you putting the sticks in, show you what it's done, what, what it looks like when it's all done so it's not too long of a video. So um, there you go Hansi, I'll let Hansi take control. All right. Yeah, there is the monkeys, and here is the monkey. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Hans is one big monkey. <laughs> oh, we crazy guys. We do have fun yeah. together, I have to say. It's fantastic having a partner that's as crazy about plants as I am. Yeah. Well, obviously you want to put the soil into the into the pot there. Yeah. So there's plenty. Yeah, so, so the levels are... Uh, so when she can take this out of this pot here, so you see, yeah, you see how. Wow, it's very root bound. These typical red roots. It's typical uh, conifers, you know. Wow. Uh, it's red, often red. So uh, yeah, and when you put, you throw another plant it deeper than it has been before because uh, this is normal for them and we have to keep them normal. Yeah. You see there we can have even more soil in it here so we come up, yeah. come up to the because the roots want to go down anyway and it has space to go down here. It's gonna be lovely. There you see it fits Yay. better. No crystals here, no. Ooh, that was one, wasn't it? No, 
No, it wasn't. <laughs> we like to put crystals so, yeah. in the box, by the way, guys. <laughs> and uh, we even have to do this. Yep, the bamboo. Bambabuda. And that helps to support them because they're yeah. quite tall growing when they're young and we get a lot of wind here in Ireland, so it gives a bit of support. Yeah, and uh, I don't want to put, I don't want to disturb the roots anyway, in any way. I, uh, so I put it on beside here and take the thickest one in the pot and you can, then after that, you can bind it up to this one. And I shall even go and get uh, stripes. I think I have here in the ceiling oh, yeah, the stripes garden. we can wow, use. Yeah. You know. So this is what I shall do now. Put up, put in more soil in the potty dotty here. <laughs> and what we'll do when we've repotted these, although it's spring and the weather is a lot warmer now. Because we've repotted them, and by the way, monkey pills can take plenty of rain. They're very cold hardy too. It's, but we, plants, <laughs> it's an outdoor you know? <laughs> plant. We're just gonna we're gonna give them a good water after we've repotted them, and then we're yeah. gonna keep them into this little white polytunnel here, just for a couple of weeks, just so they don't. If we get a lot of heavy rain, they're not gonna be sitting in very wet soil, and just to protect them for a couple of weeks, and then put them back out into our yard again. And they'll thrive over the spring and summer. Yeah, and they grow big here in Ireland. So. They're gonna grow really big. Yeah. And unfortunately we don't have a big garden to plant them out, out in the garden, but hopefully, you never know in the future, when we find a, a mansion and we win the lottery. <laughs> now Hans is getting the garden uh, uh, tie well, wire. And this, this is very bitey, so it's even worse than cacti. Oh, yeah, these because, monkey puzzles are so yeah. sharp really all so tying it onto the bamboo cane to give it support yes oh it looks like the little monkey's waving so happy to be repotted yeah they love this they love it it'd be great <laughs> cute aren't they adorable guys i love them yeah. And it's special because I've grown them from seed, so I'm so quite proud of it. That was the first one. That's the first one. So you've seen that, yeah. the repotting and putting them onto the, the stick. The second one. Two done, yippee! <laughs> Here, guys, you see shootings down below, and it's good if you take this away, snap them off because you you must have this stem up, and we have to help them to to find the apical dominance. This is not the top. Here is the top. That one is the top because that is going to be a branch. You see. So this is the top and that's why we have to uh, straight them up with the sticks, you know. And these shootings take away, just so you know. Because uh, this is a solitaire and uh, it's not a bush, you know. Yeah. And don't go too close to the stem, a little bit outside so it can just dry up here. It's easier and it's the it's not so big risk for diseases to come in and even this one just snap the top there it goes and it don't know <laughs> with this cutting uh, I haven't disturbed the, the main stem is very important okay Now this is the last one guys. And Hans is putting the stick in. Down to the bottom. Down to the bottom. Of the pot, I mean. Of the pot. <laughs> yeah. And you if you guys found cones of this, uh, pick them. And uh, it's about 95 to 98 percent growing so it's very 
and good germination rates. Yeah, the ones I found, most of them germinated. Yeah. And some of them germinated months, like nine months later. So you have to be very patient. <laughs> and as I mentioned, do watch the video. If you're interested in growing monkey puzzle from seed, do watch the video on how to grow the monkey puzzle from seed. And you'll see how it's done there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any monkey puzzle seeds myself. I found mine in the forest, as I say, at Ultimate Gardens here in Ireland. But if you're out and about and you've got monkey puzzle trees and you find the, the seeds, the cones, do go and pick them up and... Have a go at sewing them. And these gorgeous little trees, I have to say. Well, big trees. Yeah. yeah. And they're very, very long living as well. Yeah. They'll gosh. certainly outlive us anyway. Yeah. And the real name is Arukari, Arukari. Yeah. <laughs> no monkeys here. No monkeys here. Only no, us two. They can't climb this because it's too bitey for them. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that's some repotted and aren't they just adorable? And they're gonna thrive. And as I say, we'll probably only keep them in here for, I said two weeks, so probably just a few days, just so they don't get oversaturated. We're gonna give them a water obviously now, and uh, then they're gonna thrive all through the spring and summer. And stay tuned for future updates on how these uh, gorgeous monkey puzzles grow. As I say, they're nine years old now, seed grown from me, and they are just incredible. And uh, I want to give a very special thank you to Hansi, who, is, oh. who has been behind the camera filming and also doing the repotting, so I've had my hands free. And He's very knowledgeable on garden trees and things like that because he's got a, a degree in, in um, gardening and that. And, and I trusted him to do this because I knew it was a little bit dodgy with having to put the sticks in and everything. So if you're not familiar with Hansi's wonderful channel, Plant Daddy, do go and subscribe to him. I'll link uh, Hansi's channel up above. And don't forget to subscribe to me too. And for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents, as well as uh, many house plants and garden plants, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And I want to wish you all a fantastic, happy growing! Yay! Plant power! <laughs> and don't get up to any monkey, monkey business, you all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stunners. Aren't they gorge?